Hi, and welcome back to This Week in Voice, Season 7, Episode 6. Today is Thursday, October 20th, for a little while longer. It's pretty late at night. This is the latest we've ever done this show. Uh, had a number of intervening factors today that kept me from doing this at the normal time. But here we are, we're doing it, we're ready to go. So as I talked about earlier this week on social media, all of my guests this week canceled. They all ditched me. This has happened before. It's been a while. Uh, I think it happened in season two, season three, maybe. Uh, things happen, people have to reschedule. It's no big deal. We've got all the guests who were lined up for this week rescheduled for other weeks. Uh, but we needed something to do. And conveniently, we have something to do. I've been wanting to talk about the Project Voice Women's Summit and also talk about the people who we have named our Women Leaders of Conversational AI Class of 2023. So where did this come from? Well, we wanted to do something to honor women in the space. And we thought, there's a few things that were on the table, um, but ultimately we came to the decision to do an event before the event. So we're gonna do just a little afternoon gathering uh, that will have a keynote speaker who we haven't announced yet. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's about 99% done, but not 100%. Uh, it's a well-known woman uh, executive um, who would just be a great fit. Just a, a brief program and just a great opportunity for really high performing women in this space to network with each other and for each invited woman to in turn invite another woman either with inside either inside the organization uh, that she's in or if necessary outside of the organization but somebody who she's mentored or shepherded their career in some way, opened some professional doors, someone that you care about and bringing that person with you and starting Project Voice Week off with that. And um, just, it'll be a special thing. You know, I've, I've seen my wife's career, you know, women don't like to uh, toot their own horn uh, very much, um, a lot of times to their detriment. So we're here to honor, uh, you know, women doing great work and and try to um, to do what we can to sort of meet women halfway with that. Um, so we've gotten a lot of emails about this. Uh, we've gotten people emailing us asking what was the methodology behind this. Um, we had a larger list and it turned into a smaller list. <laughs> and that's about all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you who was involved with this. Uh, it was um, more than one person, um, decent number of people. Uh, but because of the nature of the list, we're not gonna publicize that. The nature of the list is, this is not the top 200 women, okay? This is just, um the class of 2023 so we wanted to have diversity across roles we wanted to have um diversity across ages we wanted to have some geographical diversity um and uh it would just put people in a bad position you know, who we might have asked questions to here or there to, to fill out our list. So we're not going to talk about that. Um, we've also gotten a bunch of emails about, um, from women, I might add, none from men, saying, why is this person on the list? This person hasn't done anything. Why are they on the list? Take them off. And we actually had someone say, delete someone off the list. Uh, we're not going to do that. Um, that's inappropriate, really wish you wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> but I'm not gonna embarrass you by publishing it either. Um, but uh, unfortunately we've seen some of that too. So it's a good program, we're excited about it. We're gonna do it every year. And 
a final note, you know, Project Voice is going to be way bigger than it's been in the past. The largest it's ever been was 2,000 registered attendees. That was in 2020. And this is going to be 2,500 attendees. 100 plus media outlets are going to be covering this thing. It's going to be more media. It could be twice as much media than all the rest of the years of Project Voice combined. And um, we're excited about that. It's going to be high profile. It's going to be a big deal, an important event. And this is just going to be an important part of the important event. So anyway, that's, uh, that's all the pretense. Oh, and I, I should mention, uh, there's not going to be any men allowed in this room. I will, I will kick the thing off and I'll probably leave. Uh, or I might have a woman moderated. I'm considering that also. Uh, this is going to be very private. Um, you know, I've had some men reach out and offer to speak as part of it. No, no, um, <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, if you want to support it, uh, buy a sponsorship project voice. Uh, that, that'll help. Um, so, uh, so what I want to spend the time doing and for however long it takes, I don't really care if I'm going to do it however long it takes. Uh, I've got a bunch of notes on a little something about each woman who's on our list. And uh, there's 200 people. You know, we said there's 200 people. We didn't name 200 people. If you count them, it's like 180. Uh, we've kept some spaces back uh, so we can name a couple more people as we get closer, just sort of in reserve. But um, uh, just got a little something. Uh, just wanted to name each woman as part of the show and say something nice about them. This is not a re complete regurgitation of anybody's career. It's just something we found interesting that we want to call out. So uh, I'm going to roll through them all and uh, I'm going to do it right now. Women Leaders of Conversational AI Class of 2023. And if I'm not pronouncing this right, tell, hit me with it. I'm sure we'll get to meet each other and, and I'll learn, okay? Duikyu Altanak, Senior NLP Engineer from DeepGram. So she has a book called Mastering Spacey, uh, all about NLP and Python. We're going to put the link in the profile, buy it. Ciara Anderson, Senior Manager, Conversational AI Engineer, CVS Health. She has contributed chapters to published books each of the last three years. Pretty cool. Marie Angselius Schonbeck, Chief Impact Officer and Chief Corporate Communications for Artificial Solutions. So Marie has managed PR for the Special Olympics in Sweden the last 12 years. Amelia Apostolova, Chief Technology Officer, Language AI. Uh, super technical person, but uh, uh, weaves in a lot of academic, weaves in, has weave, woven in some academic roles in her career. Um, she was at DePaul, she was at Northwestern, really interesting background. Maddie Apple, CEO of Women and Voice, big shoes to fill. Uh, we'll talk about Joan later. Um, Maddie's done a very nice job continuing the influence uh, established by women in voice and more than the influence, the helpfulness, the utility of it. Um, just helping a lot of people with, in a lot of ways. Yuko Araki, uh, Director of Product Management, uh, Conversational AI and Voice for ServiceNow. So she had a nine year stint at Adobe. Um, one of the things we're gonna call out for some of, some of the folks here is when they have a long stint somewhere because that's kind of a dying breed. Uh, that's a subject for another day. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing when you can stay that long at a company um, and Yuko managed to do that. Uh, she's also, also a mentor for girls who code um, and has been done that for years. Audrey Arbini, CEO of Audio Brain, one of our favorites, um, living legend of Sonic Branding, uh, always goes out of her way uh, to help people. Um, and she's done the, uh, sonic branding for the last 10 Olympics. Um, I think that's uh, pretty noteworthy. Devar Ardalan, uh, executive producer of audio for National Geographic. Uh, she brought National Geographic to Voice AI um, and uh, we kind of watched it happen. It was in the context of Project Voice X, you know, about a year ago uh, where we got to know her. And also 
uh, really cool how she was unafraid to do something entrepreneurial with iVal.ai, which was a venture that um, uh, honored cultural heritage through voice, super cool. Maria Aretalaki, Principal Voice AI and Conversational AI Global Logic, decades of experience, this super veteran person here, uh, part of Open Voice Network, part of MIT Tech Review, and she ran for political office. So we'll give her points for that. I'm not asking what her platform was. Uh, we'll just leave it at, that's cool. Rachel Azafrani, Senior Program Manager, Responsible AI for Microsoft. Uh, she was a cashier for a restaurant back in 2013. That was the first job listed on LinkedIn. Cashier was my first job also. I did it every summer growing up, uh, make extra money. Um, and uh, I think it's really cool uh, to, to see somebody, not, not only who did it, you know, everybody had odd jobs or a lot of people, but to list it on LinkedIn, I think it's a nice statement. Uh, and it was noticed. Joan Bajoric, founder Women in Voice. Uh, Joan has been recognized a lot. Uh, she's deserved it. Uh, she's done a whole lot. Uh, you know, the, the uh, establishment of Women in Voice um, really shaped this space. Uh, you know, and now that we've got this conversational AI umbrella to everything and the line is so blurred between voice and chat and text and all these different modalities, that uh, women and voices purview, uh, despite the name, just being sounding like its voice, women and voices purview is way larger uh, as the space has expanded. So um, kudos to her uh, for, uh, for not only starting women and voice, but then stepping aside and letting somebody else run it too after you know, she, had, she was ready to do that, uh, providing some continuity. Anush, Anusha Balakrishnan, Technical Staff Inflection AI. So Anusha has gone from Apple to Pinterest to Facebook, hard trouble reading my writing, to Microsoft, uh, and then to Inflection AI, which is a super high profile AI startup. Reed Hoffman's part of it, raised hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, so a lot of pedigree uh, to what Anusha is doing, uh, very cool. Jody Balani, founder and managing director of Fresh River AI, does a lot of work with Open Voice Network, does a lot of work with Women in Voice, does a lot of work with another organization called Innovation of Large Organizations. Um, prolific, uh, well-known uh, woman in this space. Tutapa Bonsal, uh, worked at Hughes for nine years, then Cisco, then Oracle, then Amazon, then Adobe, and then finally became the director of product management for AIML, the Palo Alto Networks, um, obviously very accomplished. Naomi Bendit, director of UX and design for Verbit AI. Uh, she's been the mentor for Tech Career Israel, uh, which is pretty neat. Carla Bentabol, co-founder and chief technology officer of Babbly. Uh, I love this company. They are using voice technology to uh, essentially benchmark infants from zero to 24 months against several key milestones. Um, very, very neat work that they're doing. Emily Bender, CEO of Wealth Voice. Um, so Emily has been around the, the FinTech space for years and um, also around the voice space for years and also just a very uh, uh, adept uh, marketing mind. And she's managed to combine all of those things uh, with her venture, which is really, really neat to see. Um, Katie Boongard, conversation designer for Meta. I hate calling it Meta, by the way, it's Facebook. <laughs> uh, we won't go into that. Um, came up out of the media and entertainment world. So, uh, it, we're gonna talk a little bit about where some different type of folks come from. And there's definitely a nice subset of strong uh, women contributors to this technological domain that come out of this media and entertain, come out of a media and entertainment background. And she's one of them. Uh, Daniela Braga, CEO of Defined AI. Um, she's been recognized uh, not only by Portugal's government, 
um, working with AI, but she was also uh, named to uh, Biden's AI task force uh, here in the United States, which is uh, certainly an honor. Jamie Brandon, machine learning engineer, NLP for dictionary.com. Uh, she went from being a math tutor to founding uh, editorial board member of AI and Ethics Journal, um, which is really, really neat. Uh, there's a few folks on the list who went from, or started from being a math tutor or being a tutor of different types, uh, usually math. And uh, that's really neat to see. I was a math tutor myself for years. Um, so, I, so I relate to that. Caitlin Brooksby, VP Marketing and Strategic Partnerships, Canary Speech. So there's not a ton of family businesses in this conversational AI universe. And Canary Speech is kind of one of them uh, because Caitlin and Rachel are sisters uh, and, and both daughters of Henry O'Connell, who's a CEO. And uh, that makes things harder. That doesn't make anything easier. Um, so a lot of respect for them and for Caitlin. Rachel Brown, Senior Customer Success Manager, 3C Logic, 15-year career in sales. So there's a number of folks who are in, coming out of sales and marketing here too, not just technical folks. We need everybody and uh, uh, really need to see how she's built her career in conversational AI. And she's a volunteer um, collecting food for the, for the Phillies uh, or for the Philadelphia Phillies, some, something to do with the Phillies we'll forgive the Phillies, terrible franchise, but we'll, we'll forgive that. Eve Bullock, Principal Test Engineer, Voice and AI for BBC. I'm gonna read something for her. I'm going to read this straight off of LinkedIn. This is a recommendation that she got back in 2014. I knew Eve was the right choice for the position moments after the interview began. Not only was her experience and skill set a perfect match, but her personality was infectious and she was a great fit for the company. Um, why not just read that? That's, that's incredible, uh, nicely done. Tara Butler, conversational AI recruiter, tech systems, uh, really impressed with their operation. We've invited them to participate in Project Voice 2023, uh, which we're excited about. We've already sent them one particular candidate um, who we highly recommend. I'm sure we'll be sending them more. Beatrice Casanova, Senior Director, Product Management, Voice Platform, and UC for 5.9. Um, again, I'm going to LinkedIn. I'm going to read something straight off of Beatrice's profile here. Uh, I've had the pleasure, and this is the CTO and Head of AI at 5.9 writing this. I've had the pleasure of working with Beatrice for five years as we took Cisco far from a concept through large-scale product, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, again, we live in an age where career longevity at one particular place is low. So uh, something like this recommendation here really sticks out and is, is really neat, really unique, uh, worth calling out. Kirti Chandel, Innovation Services for Sparkle Hayes. Um, so uh, she has been very involved with voice in hospitality. Um, she was a part of something called the Emirates Academy of Hospitality, um, and then was part of an organization called Woohoo, um, which was uh, bringing voice AI to the hospitality space as well. Um, and Sparkle Hayes is a pretty neat organization too, but a lot of background related to hospitality. Jody Chattervedi, head of Cisco Innovation Labs India uh, for Cisco. Um, you know, 12 year career, uh, with Accenture in India uh, before going to Cisco, uh, super accomplished. Nancy Chen, lab head for ASTAR. So uh, Nancy got her PhD from Harvard and MIT in 2011 um, and pretty much jumped right in and just uh, started kicking a lot of ass. Alice Chen, manager, for S manager of SNC Global Applied Intelligence, Solutions AI for Accenture. So Alice, uh, has gotten certified or approved or something is certified, I guess is a good word, as a bartender um, at New York's bartending school as of August, 2022. 
So uh, obviously awesome at what she's doing, but cool to see that whether that's a passion or whether that's just something she wanted to do to meet new people or whatever the case may be, super cool to see her taking the time to do that and, uh, and become a bartender. Lily Ching, corporate vice president for Microsoft. Lily started as an architect uh, back in 1987 in Tokyo and then uh, in LA when she moved um, before progressing through her career to um, be part of Microsoft's AI and research uh, division. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, Mai Wa Chung, CEO Media Lab Group. So um, Mai Wa went from, you know, started in media and entertainment as well. She started at NBC, went to ABC, went to Univision for nearly 20 years um, and, uh, and on from there. Christine Chen, Vo Vice President Global CX and CSM for Twilio, uh, 12 year career at eBay and uh, in her off time helps the Leukemia Society. Uh, pretty nice, Brittany Christian, partner in VP Design Willow Tree. Um, she works uh, handling special events for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, and I love calling out some of these, everybody knows these women are awesome. So they do awesome stuff, have an awesome career. Um, these philanthropic things on the side uh, are, are really nice to call out. And uh, uh, kudos to Brittany for, for that. Yi Chu, Senior Director, NLP, Work Human. So she interned at Nuance while getting her PhD, and then she worked there afterward um, around, I guess, for five years um, before going over to Work Human. Um, really accomplished. Feng Hua Chung, Head of Venture Capital for Akuna Capital. So she's a mix of um, entrepreneur entrepreneurialism and uh, exposure to capital markets. There's a couple of folks like that on the list. Um, she won the Inspiring Excellence Award a few years back from Barclays. Um, yeah, I, I would imagine. Casty Simpian, S uh, Senior Vice President, uh, Lead Senior Architect uh, for Conversation Commerce for Bank of America. So Casty has worked 20 years at Bank of America. Um, prior to uh, joining the World Forum for Ethics and Business uh, as well. So um, that's unusual to say the least. And she's been obviously very impactful with all the Bank of America has done within conversational AI. Micah Coppins, uh, VP of Design, Open Dialogue AI. She has a new book out today, I think, uh, this week for sure called Conversational Design. It's, uh, it's in French, it's in the French market, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's out and uh, available for purchase. The early reviews look great. Heidi Culbertson, Senior Business Development Manager for Amazon. She's been at the forefront of applying voice AI to aging populations for years now um, and has really carved out uh, a name for herself in that particular niche. Deborah Dahl, Principal Conversational Technologies and on the advisory board of OpenStream.ai. Longtime voice conversational veteran, uh, very respected. Mita Dash, uh, Vice President of Product for Verda AI. Um, so she spent a decade as an engineer um, and then got her MBA and then continued uh, to gravitate toward conversational AI uh, via product development. Um, very neat to see. Diana Dybel, Chief Design Officer of Grand Studio, uh, and also Rebecca Evanhoe, um, who we'll get to further down the list, wrote, co-wrote this book right here, uh, Conversations with Things. And uh, this has uh, become almost must-read status for um, anybody coming into the space. Uh, so needless to say, that's been quite impactful. Uh, Raluca DeWald, conversational designer for Cashew AI. Um, she's been immersed in voice the last few years, um, and she's amassed a, a large number of certifications and credentials, um, and uh, she won an award along with her colleagues at Cashew from Amazon back in 2021. Christy Doran, 
analytical linguist for Grammarly, 20 plus year career in linguistics, uh, as well as a decade volunteering for the Boston Marathon. Uh, pretty awesome. Molly Duggan, CEO, Molly Duggan Associates. Um, she's a good example of a creative, um, you know, she runs a creative agency, but she and her team or colleagues uh, have created a number of chat bots, number of virtual assistants uh, for different clients. And so she's really become uh, a voice for um, creative minded folks um, thinking about getting involved in the space. Chitra Durgam, uh, founder of Blue Check Skill. Dr. Durgam's done a lot of stuff. She's been part of a lot of events we've done. Uh, she is an actual dentist um, that has waded into the waters of voice AI entrepreneurship. Um, super cool. Rebecca Elson, creative producer for Siri, uh, for Apple. Um, she started working at Apple after a seven year stint at BBC. Uh, been super involved with Beeb and some of the stuff they did with their virtual assistant. Uh, Rebecca Evanhoe, visiting assistant professor for Pratt Institute. Again, you need to buy this. Um, if you haven't already, you probably have it sitting right there next to you. Uh, Colleen Fahey, U.S. Managing Director, Six Seam Sun. I mispronounce that name every time. Um, Colleen is another um, institutional figure when it comes to sonic branding, um, really well known in that space. And, uh, and very well respected. Lisa Foxen, Senior Conversation Designer at Amazon. Lisa was one of the very first podcast guests that we ever had uh, back in 2017 when we established Voice First FM and had a bunch of different shows at that point. And um, Lisa's great. Uh, she's always willing to, to lend a hand um, and is just uh, uh, very well known in the space. She spent seven years in Nuance uh, then went on to Amazon. Hanlon Fang, VP of Product Management, uh, AI-powered conversational platform for ServiceNow, uh, 20 plus years in enterprise software, um, all sorts of companies, um, incredible career. Wendy Frost, NLP engineer for Sensentia, uh, seven plus years as a computational research linguist at the US Naval Research Lab. So yeah, <laughs> uh, that gets our attention. Amrita Gandhi, AVP and Head Strategic Business for Colify AI. Um, so Amrita um, taught math and English to eighth graders. Um, I don't know why anyone would voluntarily do that, I'm joking. Uh, but interestingly, she um, also created something called English with Amrita, which taught English as a second language um, to people in India and uh, got a bunch of traction with it. Uh, really, really neat to see that. Leslie Garcia Amaya, uh, head of ecosystem and product inclusion partnerships, AI at Google. Um, so Leslie is an example of another type of trajectory that we've seen some of where she, for which someone comes out of HR. So Leslie um, came out of uh, HR to eventually be involved in uh, conversational AI. And she's been at eight years uh, at Google now. Uh, Kat Judas, uh, Managing Director for TalkVIA, uh, who we just had on this week in voice a couple of weeks ago. Um, she had 17 years at Microsoft across two separate stints, uh, very accomplished. Um, and uh, she gets credit for uh, joining us on This Week in Voice at 1.30 a.m. her time. And I'm sort of mimicking, mimicking that now with uh, what the time it is here, um, but uh, uh, we owe her one. Michelle Getz, Vice President and Principal Analyst for Forrester. Um, so we wanted to have Forrester and Gardner represented on here. Michelle's got tons of experience with data uh, specifically um, and uh, all sorts of projects she's been part of, um, really accomplished. Rucha Gukale, or Rucha Gukli, um, Senior Manager, Conversational AI Data Scientist for PricewaterhouseCoopers. Um, Rucha keynoted Project Voice X and uh, got to know her there. That was a conference we did in Florida uh, about a year ago. 
maybe 18 months ago. And um, if you go on her LinkedIn, it, it says the very first thing you see is it says mom who works. And uh, she talked in her talk about um, the, the, the balance you have to strike uh, in being a mother and, and a professional uh, woman with a career. And um, just really, really neat person. Uh, really glad we got to know her. Uh, Lauren Golombieski, uh, CEO of Voxable. I want to read something off of her LinkedIn. Let me go over here. Um, I'm just going to read this out loud. This is from her about section. I was named first team All-American by the American Collegiate Rowing Association. I continued my rowing endeavors at Austin Rowing Club, where I competed on the master women's team. In 2019, I was inducted into my high school sports hall of fame for my achievements in golf, basketball, and track and field, as well as rowing. And she goes on to talk about how sports have played a big role in her life. I just think that's super cool. Um, and if you know her, she already was super cool anyway. Uh, Melissa Gordon, CEO Rasa. So Melissa had a 10-year career at Oracle. And then what she decided to do is take a year-long sabbatical traveling all across the world um, with her husband and, uh, at the time, their two-year-old child. And, um, you know, that might be a little bit more normal now than it was when she did it, but uh, I think we would all agree we need more examples of not just women, but men, too, who are courageous enough to dictate the terms of their own career. And uh, Melissa did that, and there's no doubt that there's probably women within Rasa, women within Oracle, and everywhere else that she's been or, or you know, influenced uh, that have benefited from that. Jessica Govia, head of design, got at AI, 15-year uh, career as a designer. This is another type of trajectory here is coming out of the realm of graphic design. Um, uh, I don't know if she was a graphic designer or just a, a UX designer. I'd have to look. Uh, but 15-year 15 career, 15 year career as a designer. Uh, spanning South America, Europe, Asia, and now the United States. Uh, Kanu Gulati, board of directors for Poly AI, uh, is something that she does. She's, uh, but her uh, full time gig is partner at Coastal Ventures, uh, where she has a focus on AI, ML, NLP, et cetera. Kathy Hackle, founder and chief metaverse officer for Journey. Um, this is another person who came up out of media. Um, she started as a uh, news reporter early on. Uh, now she's um, a combination of a creative and a futurist. Um, so very interesting career evolution um, made possible by this technology. Uh, Cindy Hamer, uh, Director of Business Development, Reed Speaker. Um, Cindy, got to know her well. Reed Speaker's been part of a lot, a lot of stuff we've done over the years. Um, Cindy has had a tech... Uh, technology sales and marketing career for 20 years. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, as I mentioned, it's important for us to have a diversity of roles here, just along every bit as important as technical as non-technical stuff. Um, and so we try to honor that. Tiarn Hawkins, AI service director for We Localize. Um, Tiarn also came out of HR and recruiting um, to eventually be, become a tech leader. Um, and, uh, very cool thing about Tiarn, she served for five years in the Australian army. So not for five days, <laughs> not for five months, for five years. And um, that's very cool. She has had all, all, that, a bunch about that on her LinkedIn. Uh, Jennifer Heap, Chief Creative Officer, Vixen Labs. Uh, Jennifer started as a writer. Uh, then became a creative um, and uh, now, you know, just a known expert in the voice AI space. Rebecca Howell, uh, re reporter for Recode, um, a very high profile journalist, um, and uh, her work was featured among other places uh, in the House Antitrust Report that was released in 2020. Jennifer Pinson Herring, Director, Digital Technical Product Management, Digital Platform Experiences, and Conversational AI for USAA. So Jennifer had uh, in op operations, you know, operations roles within Accenture for a decade, um, 
and then switched over to sales for a decade uh, and now leads conversational AI for USAA. So again, a good, good example of conversational AI providing the basis for people to expand their horizons, uh, which I think is really neat. Kate Hickman, head of global communications for Serence, has over a decade of uh, PR and comms experience, uh, worked for Nuance for two years before uh, working with Serence as Serence spun out of that company. It's not a ton of publicly traded companies in this space. Uh, the people that have work, this type of experience um, within the space are, are rare, uh, but very valuable. Kelly Hoffman, CEO of Voc Vocalized AI. Um, sales, marketing, entrepreneurship, fusion, you know, based out of Africa. Um, doing a lot of work with conversational analytics. Andy Hules, head of AI North America for Lenovo. Uh, very collaborative. Uh, you know, we got to know Andy at Project Voice X, um, well, which was her first conference in, in this space and um, have learned about her that uh, she doesn't like to just get up there and give a talk. Uh, she likes to put a panel together and gather around her friends and colleagues and, and give opportunities to other people uh, and, and look to shine the light on other people instead of her. Uh, which is pretty neat. Um, Susan Gura, uh, Chief Design Officer for Core AI, um, multiple decade career with voice interfaces and technology. Everybody knows Susan. Um, she's a living legend in the space. Heather Herford, Engineering Operations Manager for Soundhound, um, another person with a media production background, uh, worked at Google, worked at LinkedIn, worked at Apple, uh, and now at Soundhound, uh, super accomplished. Carly uh, Eidelwein, uh, VP Analyst, uh, Chief of Research for Analytics and Data Science and AI at Gartner. Um, longtime analyst, been at Gartner over a decade. Important to have those types of folks on this list. Uh, Marike Iwima, uh, VP of UX and Design for Oracle. Um, so Marike, assuming I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm sure I'm not, former snowboard instructor. So how cool is that? Um, and uh, worked at Microsoft for 13 years uh, as she eventually moved closer and closer to conversational AI. Uh, very involved in mentoring, volunteering as well. Hing Ji, professor UIUC and Amazon scholar as well. Uh, Hing is a pure academic. Uh, we got a couple of those on here. Uh, published a bunch of stuff, won a bunch of awards. Um, well known in the NLP space. Delia Jones, Chief Operations Officer for Webio, various ops roles over eight years, um, and uh, uh, interestingly, she uh, founded a, con her, a conversational AI conference back in 2016, so typically we don't mention people who do things like that, I'm joking, um, it's great that she was bringing people together, uh, that's been a key part of her career. Srujana uh, Kadivarmuth, uh, Senior Director of Data and Machine Learning Programs for Walmart. Um, she's a mentor for Toastmasters. So she's brought a bunch of women into Toastmasters, uh, volunteer for UNICEF, and she's on the board of directors for the UN Association of, U of the United States. So I don't know what all of that means, except... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's very uh, deserving of being on this list. Aishwarya Kamath, team lead conversation design for uh, WISA. Um, so Aishwarya, um, in addition to five-year conversational AI career at WISA, which I assume I'm pronouncing that right, um, is also a singer-songwriter. So there wasn't any music on there. I wanted to listen to some of it. So uh, fix that when you get a chance. But very cool to see singer songwriter and uh, people, you know, uh, having those sort of creative pursuits. Uh, Gila Kamhi, uh, Chief AI Officer, Wireless and Connectivity for Intel, uh, rose through the ranks at Intel over a 20 year career. Uh, then she left for six years to go work at General Motors got General Motors deeply involved in conversational AI, then came back to Intel as chief AI officer. Um, really neat person. 
AI uh, Ali uh, Kar Karasik, uh, marketing director for Parlance. So we know Ali well, we know Parlance well. Really neat company in the healthcare space. They're, they're also in education manufacturing, but uh, healthcare is kind of their main deal. Uh, Ali started as a graphic designer, uh, now has become a full on marketing director you know, for a conversational AI company. Uh, pretty neat to see. Hina Karna, um, GM, Global Industry Solutions, Insurance, Reinsurance, Risk Management for Google. So uh, Hina spent seven years doing cryptography for the NSA. Uh, so you don't see that all the time. Uh, very, uh, obviously they're not letting slouches in to do that. Malgorzata Kawinska, a computational linguist for Samsung R&D Institute. So Malgorzata started as a freelance reporter, moved on to become a writer and a blogger, moved on to become a linguist. And uh, now is at Samsung. And um, again, that's, a, that's another type of person who creates content, you know, as a writer um, uh, in different venues, maybe who's gone on to uh, have a greater role within a conversational AI company. Um, super neat to see. Ekaterina Kochmar, co-founder and chief science officer for Corbett AI. So uh, Ekaterina uh, went to the University of Cambridge, University of Bath, got a bunch of education, um, and, uh, and then um, has gotten involved with Corbett, Corbett, which is doing some stuff in the educational, the ed tech space, um, which is great to see. Deepika Coria, Global Product Lead, Voice AI, HSBC. Um, had a, had a nine-year career at HSBC, um, which is, um, you know, four times as long as a lot of careers, you know, you're seeing now. We've already talked about that. Um, that's, uh, that's valuable experience, but she's also been, uh, she's had a number of volunteer engagements helping women in technology. Um, she's made that a priority. Martina Kosikowitz, dialogue designer for Quantify. So Martina has been a long time data annotator uh, for years and years um, before now being at Quantify, uh, but she's also a voice actor um, and uh, an accomplished one. So that's pretty neat. Ya Kumar Crystal, assistant professor of biomedical informatics at Vanderbilt University. We know Ya really well. Uh, she's a lot of fun. Uh, she's great. 15 years at Vanderbilt, that's a long time. Um, voice AI is a major area of interest for her and she's helped bring it into that organization. Monica Landers, CEO of StoryFit. Uh, so Monica started as, uh, you know, in the media and entertainment realm as well. She was a producer for ABC for Good Morning America for several years before now moving on to this entrepreneurial venture with StoryFit. Caroline Lawrenson, creator of Kind Space. So Caroline is a, uh, one of a few on this list um, who has a degree or some sort of background in chemical engineering. So she has a degree in chemical, chemical engineering in 2003. And then from that went on um, to eventually start uh, the company that now holds Kind Space, which is a holistic well-being voice app uh, that's on Alexa and uh, perhaps other platforms as well. Uh, Brenda Leong, partner BNH AI. So Brenda's a lawyer, and um, I presume a pretty good one because this BNH AI looks like a pretty interesting organization, uh, law firm um, that's uh, that's focused on managing the liabilities of AI and analytics. Uh, super neat. She's also been the director of AI and ethics uh, for the Future of Privacy Forum. Um, so thinking in terms, uh, thinking in ways that are, are valuable for the whole space. Adva Levin, senior conversation designer of Google. So Adva also is a founder of Pretzel Labs, which created among other things, Kids Court, which is a really well-known skill and um, voice experience uh, for children uh, that really made a lot of news uh, at a formative time for the space. Julia Liberty, Senior Account Manager, AI Data Innovations. Uh, Julia's had a 10-year sales career around data. Um, super nice, got to know her too. Uh, Emily Lanetto, Growth Advisor for VoiceFlow. 
So Emily played a huge role in voice flow, um, building community. And really, in my opinion, um, if there's somebody who was better at building community than her, I don't know who it is. So tell me, I don't I have no clue. Um, it really helped voice flow become what it is. And, um, uh, and now she's moved on to, to web flow, uh, doing uh, something similar. Jennifer Lovett uh, is Senior Vice President Customer Success for Invoca. Uh, different marketing roles dating back to 1998, uh, multiple chief of staff roles in technology, different tech companies leading to uh, her role in the conversational AI company now. Uh, Catherine Luna, manager, Apple Knowledge Graph Analytics, uh, Apple. Um, super impressive role, We've gotten to know Catherine uh, through some of the work we've been doing with Project Voice Capital Partners. Um, <laughs> Uh, very impressive. Um, Kira McAgon, uh, Chief Innovation Officer for Ring Central, um, software engineer by training. Um, and then that led to a 10 year career uh, at Ring Central, uh, which has led to her being ch uh, Chief Innovation Officer. Neethu Merriam Joy, Senior AI Scientist for Unifor. Uh, Neethu got her PhD in speech recognition. Um, and then joined Unifor uh, just earlier this year. Antonia Mays, Senior Director of Operational Excellence for OneReach AI, longtime operator, various different roles, uh, now in conversational AI, um, another person with, with uh, operations background. Katie McMahon, President and COO, Native Voice. Um, Katie's great, uh, so we know Katie well, uh, back from when she was at Soundhound, um, and now she's a native voice, one of the best evangelists in the space, uh, one of the best at doing live demos I've ever seen, uh, one of the most infectious personalities, um, really, really important person uh, to the space. Uh, Lisa Mouchot, uh, Product Director, Conversational AI for Interactions, um, 10 plus year academic career, uh, followed by moving to the private sector, you know, working with NLP and conversational AI. Uh, Lisa's great. We've been fortunate to have her as a guest on This Week in Voice um, and uh, gotten to know her. Carolina Milanesi, president, the heart of tech. Um, so Carolina uh, came from Gardner. She worked there for eight years. Um, Well-known social media uh, personality. She's got a big audience there. And uh, just a, res a deeply respected analyst. Um, and uh, I follow her stuff uh, closely myself. Uh, Allie Miller, AI entrepreneur, advisor, and investor. So um, as I joke, there's, I have 25,000 people or so on LinkedIn following me. For some reason, nobody understands. <laughs> nobody gets it, uh, even me. Allie has 1.4 million people following her on LinkedIn. It's crazy. And uh, it's really neat. And it's impactful. She's a wealth of knowledge, creates a bunch of content, always looking to help women uh, in various different ways, always thinking about AI. Uh, definitely deserves to be on the list. Emily Miller, NLP engineer for Tectonic AI. So Emily uh, worked for J.P. Morgan Chase for four years before moving over to what was known then as ChatGen AI, became Tectonic AI. Tanya Milo Milohovic, Community Manager for Resemble AI. Um, so Tanya has got a video that just got posted recently on her LinkedIn. I'm not going to show, show it here, but it's worth checking out. It talks about how she was born premature, and as a result of that, she developed glaucoma, and uh, I'm not sure if she's completely blind or mostly blind, uh, but either way, she's got this disability, and so she's always thinking about accessibility, and um, uh, has turned into a big champion of um, not just women, but accessibility for women and accessibility in general. Um, she started something called getbraille.com. Um, which provides translations of Braille. Um, really, really neat uh, person. 
uh, Alex Michachik, uh, Senior Vice President, Experience Design Director, NLU and Emerging Experiences for Truist. Uh, we got to know Alex at Project Voice 2022, super cool, 10 year UX career. Uh, she's also a volunteer for causes related to Down syndrome, as well as uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, Margaret Mitchell, Chief Ethics Scientist for Hugging Face. 15 year career, uh, primarily as a researcher, really has cut her teeth there. Uh, super well known in the area of AI ethics, uh, very respected voice. Uh, Angelica Matawal, uh, Senior Conversation Designer for Zoom. Um, she worked um, she worked designing Allstate's digital assistant for three years prior to going to Zoom um, and uh, really made a lot of waves there. Uh, need to see. Ashley Moons, ex account executive for Data Force, which is part of TransPerfect. Uh, Ashley studied public policy and international law while in the Netherlands uh, prior to her current role. Ariana Mueller, CEO, Nonsense Language Learning. So Ariana had different academic roles prior to Nonsense. And what Nonsense Language Learning does is pretty neat. I got to talk about this a second. Um, it teaches people foreign languages. How? By having them watch for movies spoken in foreign languages and with foreign subtitles. So it was unclear to me whether some of the movies are spoken in English and have foreign subtitles, or they're spoken in a foreign language and have English subtitles, or maybe it's both. Uh, but uh, either way, just a novel approach um, to learning a new language. And I could see that uh, being useful regardless of which way it is or, or what combination thereof. Um, Mira Marathi, Chief Technology Officer for OpenAI. So Mira spent three years at Tesla. Um, and then two years at Leap Motion um, prior to uh, her current five year career at OpenAI, uh, making a lot of news um, and noise over there. Zoe Murphy, uh, New York Times Audio uh, for the New York Times. So, part of this conversational AI universe inherently includes anything going on with audio because uh, if voice is part of it, voice is. Voice AI is part of conversational AI and audio is part of everything with voice, anything with, you know, the input and output of voice. Um, obviously, everything with audio is deeply related to that. Uh, what Zoe's doing, she worked at the BBC for over 15 years before coming over to uh, the New York Times. Her entire career is basically the fusion of news and technology. A uh, really neat uh, person. Nikki Nahum, account executive for Human First. So um, she worked her way into a conversational AI sales role, um, you know, young in her career, but uh, pretty, pretty neat to see. And, you know, as I've, as I've mentioned, we like folks in sales. Sales doesn't get, uh, sales kind of gets the short end of the stick or whatever, you know, account executive, whatever words you want to put on it, whether it's business development, account executive, whatever phrase you want to use. Uh, we need those people doing those sorts of things. Uh, Nikki also organized a fashion show <clears throat> for cancer uh, patients um, and raised over $50,000 in doing that. Caroline Nelson, Director of Conversational Experience Design, North America for Nuance. Um, Caroline is one of a couple of people who started in aerospace <laughs> uh, before, um, in her case, uh, moving on to telecom. Uh, now conversational AI. Uh, she's been with uh, Nuance for about a decade. Jane Nimkova, Chief Operating Officer for VIEW or VIEW, not sure which one. Uh, 18 years in AI-oriented businesses, now involved with combination of a payment, fintech, healthcare business with VIEW. Um, Jean Leah Naroj, Director of Conversational AI for Lowe's. Um, uh, Jean, I believe she just goes by her fir the first part of that, um, is a chemical engineer by training, another one of those, um, got into data science uh, back in 2017 and now is uh, director of conversational AI for Lowe's. Uh, Lowe's is in the competitor to Home Depot. Uh, Anna Norris, senior data scientist NLP for Newzella. 
uh, Anna has a decade in publishing. So uh, spent a decade in publishing, then migrated over to product development and uh, worked her way into NLP uh, in her current role. Laurie Orlov, Principal Analyst, Aging and Health Technology Watch. So Laurie, um, I can't remember she was the first guest, the first speaker I ever booked for the Voice of Healthcare Summit when it was at Harvard Medical School. If it, she wasn't the first, she was among the first. And uh, um, I don't know if we necessarily hit it off at first, <laughs> but uh, we, we later did. And just a ton of respect um, for her. Uh, she has carved out a fantastic niche reporting on and uncovering technology and trends within this aging population uh, domain. And, um, you know, really neat. Um, she's been part of a lot of stuff we've done and, uh, and proud of it. Celine Osieka, Senior Director, Conversation Design 24-7 AI, um, alongside a decade of conversational interfaces and technology. Um, she is a filmmaker as well. So that's pretty neat. Olga Askokova, Senior Voice AI Experience Architect, BUI, VUI agency. Um, Olga is a little different. Uh, there might be one other person with this uh, too, but there's not many with a background in straight up information security. So uh, Olga's background is all about protecting data and, and um, information security, which is uh, <laughs> pretty uh, valuable. Allison Page, founder and chief product officer for Seven Rooms. So Seven Rooms is all about bringing conversational AI to hospitality and restaurants. They made a lot of waves, gotten a lot of traction. I'm gonna show this from Allison's LinkedIn. Um, under languages, she's got proficiency in English. She's got proficiency in Spanish. And then it says Italian swear words, elementary proficiency. <laughs> so that's funny just, on its face, but also, uh, I don't know if she's suggesting, she says the same type of Italian swear words that elementary children do, um, a little confused. Um, anyway, very accomplished uh, executive. Pooja Pai, uh, head of delivery for Avamo. Uh, she's an engineer by trade. Uh, she's been in Avamo coming up on four years. Xing Pan, VP of Marketing and Business Development for Speech Morphing. Xing is actually a business advisor for a lot of different firms, um, a couple of which we've gotten to know, and uh, uh, very passionate about um, um, not only opening doors for women, but um, you know, helping open doors for the space in general. Very passionate about the voice AI space. We've always gotten along well. Alice Parsons, conversational AI recruiter for TechIre AI. Um, so here's another person with the HR background, obviously. Uh, everything that Alice has done uh, has been at the forefront of um, conversational AI recruiting, which is starting to become a big deal. Rupal Patel, VP of Voice and Accessibility for Veritone. So everybody knew Rupal for starting Vocal ID for years and just a real veteran of the space and Vocal ID has now been acquired by Veritone, which is just a, a great fit in my opinion of, of parties. And, um, you know, Rupal, uh, Rupal actually is one of the few people who uh, has help, offered to help us with a venue in Boston, not once, but twice. And uh, nobody does that. So we, we appreciate her. Um, Nidhi Pitak. Uh, senior content marketing manager for Senseforth AI. So Nitty started as a reporter and editor. So she started in media um, and uh, then became a straight up content marketer um, and eventually made her way into content, you know, conversational AI with, with those skills. Um, and those are important. Uh, we've seen the, the obvious example, you know, just a couple of examples. Um, I've got the DeepGram book here. 
So uh, this is a, obviously a content marketing effort that, that has worked. Uh, um, Soundtown has had some great content marketing. The great companies in this space uh, have had great content marketing. And so it's super important. Leticia Patricio, Senior Technical Product Manager for Unity Technologies. So Leticia is all about voice AI and gaming, um, but she also spent her uh, free time volunteering for animal foster care, um, which is uh, certainly appreciated. Kathy Pearl, Design Manager, Google Assistant for Google. Um, so I've got Kathy's book here. Um, a lot of people own this. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, fix it uh, and go buy it. Um, Kathy's a longtime veteran of the space. I know her very well. Um, very friendly, very uh, um, eager to help people out. Uh, Megan Pesalunas, Senior Product Manager for Snap Finance. Uh, so Megan um, had started her career with five years uh, with the Air Force as an internal auditor. Um, and uh, uh, that led to a career uh, all around payments. So a lot of her career has uh, involved payments and payment technology. Uh, Andrea Plessia, uh, co-founder and global VP, uh, customer, chief customer success officer for Druid AI. Um, Andrea is a longtime programmer um, and uh, she's won all sorts of awards, uh, very accomplished. Maria Punawala, Senior Manager, Business Value Services, MoveWorks, um, involved in machine learning for 15 plus years. Uh, she also supports the Boys and Girls Clubs and YWCA with uh, her time and money. Uh, Arati Prabhakar uh, is the Director of Office, and Science Office of Science and Technology Policy, OSTP, uh, for the White House. Uh, Arati was uh, the driving force behind the White House AI Bill of Rights that just came out uh, that made a lot of news and has advanced that conversation forward. Shamala Priyaga, Senior Software Product Manager, Conversational AI for NVIDIA. Uh, Shamala is a well-known leader um, and uh, certainly well-known in the, in the voice side of things. Um, and she just came out with a new book recently called Emotion, Emotionally Engaged Digital Assistant, Humanizing Design and Technology. Uh, go by that, we'll, we'll include the link. Uh, Agaliki Simarno, uh, Chief Marketing Officer for Amelia. Uh, Agaliki has been involved in marketing communications and Marcom whole career, um, coming up on four years with Amelia. Hina, Perowit, head of product, IBM Corporate Accelerator for IBM. Um, so Hina co-founded AI for Her to reduce the gender diversity gap in AI and machine learning, uh, which is um, needed. Bendana PV, uh, last name is PV, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, conversational AI consultant for Titan Company Limited, and actually just switched roles over to lead assistant manager for EXL. She's been involved in five, for five years in conversational AI in different ways, um, straight out of engineering program into, into it um, and has made a lot of progress. Shalini Reyna, Senior Solutions Product Manager for Skit AI. Um, another person who's straight out of engineering into product management and then, and then into AI uh, and into impact. Nidhi Rashari, uh, Head of Conversational AI for Roku. Um, 15 years, uh, has been part of numerous publications and has six patents uh, with her name on them involving user interface uh, technology of different sorts. <clears throat> Arcana Ramalingam, Senior Machine, machine Learning Engineer for AMD. Um, Arcana is an interesting one, obviously super accomplished, but in 2018, she wrote about an AI infused cow necklace. That's real. Um, I'll let her explain it. Uh, but uh, uh, obviously, uh, incredibly accomplished person. Efrit Rappaport, head of Salesforce Israel R&D, VP product management for Salesforce. Uh, Efrit was the CEO of Bonobo AI, which was um, one of the early earlier conversational AI acquisitions um, purchased by Salesforce. Um, 
So that company was all about uh, customer, you know, customer marketing and uh, using conversational AI to uh, for for product marketing. Um, Serbi Rathor, CEO, Symbol AI, um, really strong technical founder. Serbi's got three patents, uh, engineering background, um, has been very involved with women in technology. Um, really neat person. I've gotten to know her well. Carolyn Reed, principal voice researcher for Comcast. Uh, Carolyn started her career um, on a farm, taking care of mistreated horses. And from there went on to all sorts of technological great heights, but uh, uh, very passionate about animals. Um, Mandy Reed, global head of marketing, creative virtual. So Mandy, um, has had a 14 year career with Creative Virtual in which she started as an admin and moved all the way up to global head of marketing. So kudos to her and kudos to the environment that made that possible. Um, Julia Reinspach, senior applied scientist, Alexa privacy for Amazon. Uh, so Julia got her PhD in physics, again with a chemical, chemical engineering background as well. Um, and uh, she actually just joined Meta uh, just in the last week or two, um, or what we call Facebook still. Uh, Nithu Rinjith, Rinjith uh, machine learning software engineer for grid space. Uh, Nithu uh, is another person who has an aerospace background um, and uh, uh, spent a lot of her educational career uh, working on aerospace. And she joined grid space um, as her first full-time job, according to LinkedIn, uh, not a bad one. Gina Riley, Vice President UX and Conversation Design Lead, JP Morgan Chase. Uh, so I wanna read something about Gina from her LinkedIn. This is under her about section. A flawless customer experience is a key to success. How do I know? I've lived it. My first job was working in my family's Italian restaurant as a teenager. I quickly learned that a 50 year legacy is not just built by hard work or having the best ravioli in town. It's built by the obsession with customer experience. It's what turns first time visitors into old time regulars. So it's only natural that I carry a passion for creating superlative experiences deep within me. Some might even say it's in my DNA. Uh, yes, uh, add that person to the list, please. Uh, we did that. Liani Rodriguez, Seattle, CEO of Rattle. So uh, I sit on uh, Rattle's advisory board. I've gotten to know Liani. Um, very passionate about uh, women in technology. Very passionate about minorities in technology. Very passionate about women who are minorities in technology. Um, I encourage you to check out Rattle. Uh, very interesting company. Uh, Yanel Rodriguez, Director of UX and Conversation Design for Walmart. Um, Yanel cut her design teeth uh, with working with museums, uh, which is kind of interesting. And she's been at Walmart for about six years. Leanne Rolston, Data Scientist, Voice AI Science Team for Live Person. Uh, Leanne worked at AOL um, back in the mid 2000s, uh, doing a bunch of voice stuff, uh, which is kind of Kind of neat to see uh, see that and that blast in the past. Donna Romer, VP of product for Spotify. So Donna was a software developer for 30 plus years. Uh, very accomplished. Um, moved upward real quick. But in addition to that, she was also a professional ballet dancer earlier in her career. Maybe still is. Who knows? Um, cool to see that technical chops with the creative outlet. Um, sets a great example, just really, really good to see. Jody Ruby, VP of marketing for LXT, 20 plus years of marketing and technology. Um, but Jody is also the board, a board member of Music Works Northwest, which is a nonprofit community music school. So same as Donna, very cool to see that. Uh, Shweta Ruperl, Head of Engineering for Voiceplug. In full transparency, I'm on the advisory board, board of Voiceplug as well. Uh, 
Shred is awesome. Uh, had a chance to uh, come to the home of, of hers and, and Jay's, uh, who's a CEO, and um, have some Indian food with them, which is a rarity for me, um, and uh, uh, learn about the company and everything they're building. That's another example of a family business, uh, which, uh, or something resembling that, uh, of which there's not very many. Natalie Rutgers, VP of Product Growth for DeepGram. So Natalie worked for a year doing marketing for a coffee shop before her five-year um, stint at DeepGram began. A uh, little known fact about me, I ran a retail store, um, owned and managed a retail store for five years uh, in Nashville. And uh, you build a totally different skill set, totally different um, career muscle doing that sort of thing. And uh, you definitely respect that um, and it adds something to you. Valeria Sandai, CEO of Alma Wave. So Valeria was a music student uh, before uh, becoming an intern at JP Morgan and going from there, uh, eventually leading to her current role. Maha Schaefer, CEO of Zowie, uh, decade of software development experience uh, preceding that. Jane Pollock Scowcroft, conversational AI data strategy for NVIDIA. Uh, Jane was a math tutor, um, another uh, person who was a math tutor early on uh, before wide range of ascending jobs moving rapidly uh, upward uh, in technology. Shirmati Sinarin, director of communications and technical publications for Delta Path. Um, Shirmati has been a technical writer her whole career um, and, and continues to her current job. Uh, we need more of those. Vera Serdikova, uh, Senior AI Product Manager for in Language AI and NLP for Salesforce. Um, very accomplished career. In addition to that, she has trained hundreds of students over several years uh, in uh, model, model United Nations, uh, which is really, really neat. Neva Shaked, uh, head of the School of Multiple Dis Multidisciplinary Studies, Holon Institute of Technology. So Neva started as a speech scientist for IBM back in 1994. Uh, that tells you a lot. Um, very accomplished, very experienced. Julie Sheffield, Chief Technology Officer, Cobalt Speech. Um, Julie's got a pretty interesting combination of engineering and technical writing experience uh, together. Um, Jessica Shi, uh, AI strategist for OpenAI, um, worked at Deloitte, worked at McKinsey, went on from the consulting realm to C3 AI and then OpenAI, which is where she is now. Heather Siegel, uh, Senior Vice President of Corporate Strategy and Development for Applause. Um, Heather won an award in 2010 while at Cornell for integrity, responsibility, and goodwill. So yeah, that's pretty good. Noelle Silver, Global Partner, AI and Analytics, IBM. So Noelle has been around this space uh, for, for a long time. She's a very passionate, very well-known, very accomplished evangelist for women in technology. And um, uh, if you don't know her, fix it, get to know her. Um, awesome. Um, very important person in the space. Jessica Sim, marketing manager at Datch. Uh, in addition to Datch, which is a manufacturing oriented voice AI play, um, Jessica also works to bring diversity to the music industry via something called Diversify the Stage, uh, which is based out of Nashville, interestingly. Um, Kristen Simonini, uh, VP Product Applause. So Kristen volunteers for the Boy Scouts and also something called Cycle for Survival, uh, in addition to all that she does. Anna Smirnova, a speech scientist for Stenograph. Um, she held down a part-time job while at the University of Washington as a librarian for multiple years and uh, helped put herself through school doing that. Lindsay Sergal, Chief Product and Customer Experience Officer for Casisto. So 
in addition to everything else that she's done, earlier in her career, she led an effort to index technical manuals digitally for use on Navy submarines. Pretty cool. Shelby Sparrow, principal conversation designer for Verant. Shelby went from an academic to a project manager, then to conversation designer. Uh, need to see that progression. Nandini Stocker, senior product design manager for Flipkart. Everybody knows Nandini. Uh, I've known her for years, um, dating back to when she was in Google. Um, very passionate about the space, uh, very um, interested in helping women um, with technology careers. And uh, she'll be part of Project Voice 2023, I might add. Uh, shameless plug. Um, talking about a number of different things that she does. Uh, excited to have her be part of uh, the program. Tanya Sun, VP Operations for Paper Cup. So Tanya, while in law school, worked as a caseworker for us, Australia Social Services. So tells you a little bit about her. Sarah Tahiri, Vice President, Chief Product Owner, Contact Center and Robotics for Prudential. Uh, Sarah worked at Mass Mutual for 14 years, um, including being a voice product manager there uh, before going over to Prudential. Uh, Julia Tarpe Haddad, uh, product lead for Alexa Accessibility for Amazon. Got to meet Juliana um, as part of Project Voice 2022. Um, really passionate about accessibility. Um, She's everything you think an Amazon person wouldn't be. Um, <laughs> uh, very passionate, very um, devoted uh, to her job. Um, it's great having her be part of that. Introduced her to our friends at United Ability uh, nonprofit in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on there. Nitya Tadani, CEO, Rain Agency. Uh, Nithya is super accomplished. Um, the evolution that she's taken Raid Agency through is, is a creative one. Um, it's been a productive one. Um, and uh, hats off to her. A lot of respect for, for her and the team over there. Uh, Patricia Thane, CEO, Private AI. Um, Patricia's got uh, a CEO, you know, a lot of experience, but in particular, a decade ago, she worked on computational methods for deciphering lost languages. So that's pretty high end. Uh, Majda Toysarkhani, Director, Product Management, Multi-Cloud Digital Genesis. So Majda spent a decade or so in healthcare uh, and life sciences, uh, applying those to conversational AI. Uh, in her recent career and now. Sharon Troisi, VP of Marketing Programs and uh, Demand Center for Amelia, 40-year uh, career in marketing. A um, lot of stuff she's been part of, including thir 13 of those years at Avaya. Um, Estefania uh, Tunan, uh, Experienced Design Project Leader for NTT Data. So Estefania, um, is another person who started as a graphic designer specifically. Um, she was at kind of the first half of her career. Now she's become a, a conversation designer for the second half of her career. Uh, Sripriya Vinkatesan, um, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Chief AI architect for Capgemini. Um, she graduated number one from her university in India. Um, good to call that out. Uh, obviously, uh, gone on to a lot of great things since then. Pooja Voladati, Senior Core Tech Engineer, Conversational AI, IBM. Um, she's working on scaling conversational AI for McDonald's drive-throughs um, with, uh, with the work that she's doing at IBM. Sarah Weissweaver, Head of Ethics and Community for Well Said Labs. Um, Sarah uh, was an English teacher for ninth and 10th graders for multiple years. And uh, again, that's um, 
kind of insane. <laughs> Uh, takes takes the right person for that. We'll put it put it that way. Uh, Susan Westwater, uh, strategy director, Vixen Labs. Um, Susan uh, and her husband are the authors of Voice Strategy, creating useful and usable voice experiences, uh, which has been a popular book. If you don't have that, purchase it. We'll put the link in there. Katie Wigdahl, CEO, Speechmatics. Uh, Longtime consultant uh, is where she spent a lot of her career. She became CFO, Speechmatics first, uh, and then transi transitioned to become CEO. Keisha Williams, uh, senior principal, AWS cloud residency for Slalom. Um, 15 years of software engineering for Chick-fil-A. Uh, that's what she was doing when, when I met her. Um, and uh, uh, incredible incredible person, um, gotten to know her well, incredible advocate for women uh, and women and min minorities uh, in technology. Uh, Fei Yu Zhu, Senior Vice President, Global Head of Artificial Intelligence for SAP, uh, three decades of work with language technology, uh, spent time in China, spent time in Germany. She was on Forbes, top 50 women in technology in China in 2019. Um, speaks for itself. Alia Yakubi, head of Zion Lab AI for Zion. Uh, Alia got her PhD in AI in Paris in 2019 uh, and was onward and upward from there. Angelina Yang, head of data science, AI, and machine learning for Next Insurance. Uh, 15 years in AI and ML in banking, two stints uh, separately at Wells Fargo, spanning seven years. Jenny Zacharias, Senior Manager, Product Management for Athena Health, 20-year career between India and San Francisco, um, helping build conversational AI assistance. Uh, Jennifer Zhang, CEO, Wiz AI. So Jennifer started her career as a business reporter in Los Angeles uh, before she eventually jumped over to entrepreneurship. Um, Linda Yamanoha Zwickel, Senior Manager, Global Product Marketing, Vonage Communications Platform for Vonage, 30 plus year career in, in enterprise software. Um, and Linda started with Apple in Japan about 30 years ago. So those are the names. <laughs> I bet you didn't think I could get through all of them. Uh, you would be wrong. Super proud of all these people, um, proud of our efforts to identify these people uh, and to attempt to contact these people. Uh, Friday is our stated deadline for, which is now uh, Friday, um, stated deadline for these people responding to us about uh, attending. Uh, very high rate of uh, yes, uh, and people who are planning on attending Project Voice 2023. So uh, look, we're excited. Project Voice 2023 is going to be great. Project Voice Women Summit is going to be great. This is only the beginning of us honoring women. This is only the beginning of us announcing a lot of stuff uh, around Project Voice Week to bring people together um, in April. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, until next time. <laughs>